Hey boys, it's Arm9. Today, we're customizing the Karen Everon in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, I do not believe that I have ever customized this truck before, so I'm actually pretty excited to do this. Most of the other cars in this game I have customized, but the Everon is one that I've missed somehow. So anyway, we're going to get into it right now. So starting off with the armor all the way up on that, of course, the brakes as well. For the bumpers, we do have quite a few different options here. Okay, so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. Um, I feel like I just want to go for the bull bar with the winch. I feel like that is a pretty good look for the truck, so we'll go for that. Uh, for the rear bumper, we can add a chrome bumper. Is the front one chrome? I feel like it's not, so we're just not going to go ahead and add a rear bumper at all. The engine, though, we are going to upgrade all the way up. The exhaust, uh, we got a few different options. Why? Oh, okay, that looked like a triangle for some reason. That's really not my favorite exhaust option. So we're going to go for the dual exhaust because it's like the only one that you can like actually properly see. So we'll go for that. And for the hood options, we do have quite a few different ones. We got a, uh, a little hood guard there on, the, on this one. We have the vented hood, the uh, carbon vented. Who's putting carbon on this? I really hope none of you guys have put carbon on this. I will be mad. There's there's quite a few good hood options, actually, to be fair. Um, I think we're going to go for the vented hood with the guard. Uh, oh, wait, we can do it without the guard? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like the guard actually kind of works on this truck. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. For the headlights, Xenon, of course, obviously. Now, for the stripes, obviously, we can go for the single black or single white racing stripe. We got double as well uh, that we can also go for. I do kind of like the look of that, so that's something to keep in mind. We have the fast black racing stripes. I do like that as well. The tattered US flag. Um, not a super huge fan of that. Children of the Mountain uh, Fellowship. Um, not my favorite, but it, it, it kind of looks cool though. Don't get me wrong. Um, so that's kind of neat. The harsh souls, the disruption logistics as well. Uh, we got the piss washer camo and back to none. So I'm kind of thinking of going for the, mm, the double black racing stripes. Let's go for that. For right now, we might change it later. Yellow and black for the plate, of course. The respray. Now this is this is where hmm, we can we can get interesting here. Um, I feel like it does look good in like a silver sort of color. Um, I feel like it could also look good in like a yellow. I don't know why, but yellow or like maybe orange. Ooh, orange is kind of not too bad. Um, I feel like yellow though. I feel like ooh, maybe a do yellow. Not bad. Um, I don't know about on a truck though. That's the thing. Like yellow on a truck, I don't know. That's kind of sus. I feel like we got the Saxon blue. That that would make it look like a Ford, but obviously it's not really based off of a Ford. Um, so let's just scroll through all the options here. We could go for like a champagne sort of color. Um, we could also go uh, bleached brown too. Um, honestly, bleached brown, like not bad. Like that's actually something I'm maybe considering. Uh, cream as well looks pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, we got frost white ice white those look good you know what honestly i'm thinking about going bleached brown i know that's like kind of sacrilegious like nobody uses the browns in this game but i feel like it's not that bad looking so we're gonna go for it for right now we might change this after so if you're gonna click off the video you, you might regret it i don't know we'll see now for the bed cover uh we can do quite a few different things oh my gosh you can put a crazy headache rack on this thing oh man i really like these back options um i think Ooh, I do like the fog lights, but I don't really like the containers. Can we do... Oh, but I kind of like the... Mm. I think we're going to go all out. Like, not to just buy the most expensive option like a nerd, but like, yeah, that does look pretty good. Now, for the roof, we can change it to carbon. That's interesting. You can also go for roof bars on it as well. Those are kind of tight. Uh, primary roof crossbars as well. Holy, we can kit this thing right out. You can even put skis on it? That's insane. That's actually sick. You can put another roof rack too. Okay. This is, this is actually sick. Um, let's go for the primary roof rack just to, actually, you know what? Do I even want that? I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like I really like the primary roof bars. Let's go for those. Well, let's, yeah, no, let's do that. Now for the sides, uh, side skirts here, of course, we do have these steps that we can add to this thing as well. Those aren't bad. Um, however, I kind of like the stock ones and I mean the chrome, we haven't done anything else. So, you know, not exactly my favorite. We can add a, uh, a little spoiler to this thing, but it looks kind of ridiculous in my opinion. So I'm just not going to do that, even though it does give us a traction bonus, which I do like. Um, I feel like it's just not quite worth it. Is it just me or is that clipping? Yes. Yes, it is. It is clipping. Okay. So I do kind of like the stock ride height on this car uh, or on this truck, I should say. Um, so 
Because it's more of an off-road suited vehicle, we will leave it all the way up. The transmission, we are gonna put that all the way up as well though, and the turbo, of course. And for the wheels, I already kind of have an idea of what I want to go for here, and it's my usual off-road rim. Yep, the Concave Rally Master. Looks really good. We're going to put it on. I know it's kind of boring, but uh, yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, black wheels. I mean, I think I have to, right? I mean, I don't know. Stone, stone silver is not a bad little breakup from the color, though. Let's do let's do stone silver. Why not? Why not? We'll, we'll switch that up a little bit. Bulletproof tires, we will go for those. And, of course, we're going to tint the windows all the way out. This thing is absolutely lethal. Like, I can't believe that I haven't customized this thing before um, because I'm pretty impressed with this right now. Let's take it outside. We're gonna do a sound test and a full review on the truck as well as an off-road test. All right, here we are outside. Let's take a listen to what the Karen Everon actually sounds like. It has a really, really cool uh, turbo like blow off valve noise, which I think is actually really dope. Um, it looks great too. Um, it's got a level, like it, it's actually leveled out when you're outside. I don't know why in the mod shop, the back end is like down, but uh, outside it's actually up. So it's pretty even, it looks really good, it's leveled. It's, uh, it's a good looking vehicle, honestly. Like it's just a good looking truck. Um, so I'm gonna be putting this thing in my uh, off-road garage. So yeah, you might be able to expect what one of the upcoming videos might be. Uh, but man, this is sick actually. I really like the Karen Everon. I cannot believe it's been this long for me to customize this thing for the first time. This is actually such a sick truck. It's pretty quick in a straight line too. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually pretty impressed. The handling, it definitely feels like a truck, but it's like not bad. I don't know. It's got interesting handling. We'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to see what happens when we get into some more like proper corners because so far it's kind of hard to tell. Definitely feels very bouncy. I feel like a suspension upgrade would uh, would definitely would definitely help this thing's cornering ability. It does sort of like lose it in corners, but then it like gets it right back. It's oh, it's really weird, but I do like it. I do really like it. Oh my god, this thing's like a drift truck. What is happening right now? I like this thing a lot, man. It's so fun to drive. Already, I'm just super, super impressed with the Karen Everon. This thing is actually sick. No complaints from me. I mean, it could have a little more customization, yes, but like it also doesn't really need it. Like it's already like pretty sick. Would have been nice to have some like better like rear bumper options and like side skirt options. You know, I, maybe not just everything chrome, but uh, you know, it's still not bad. I mean, I, I've just realized the stock bumper is chrome anyway, so like I would just be changing. For from chrome to chrome so i probably should have just done that i didn't really realize that but uh my bad i guess this truck is so sick though i wow I, i'm actually just like mad at myself that i haven't customized this thing until like right now that's that actually just sucks because i could have been whipping this thing around wow yeah no the karen everon this thing is actually solid it like has a slight oversteer bias like if every car handled like this i honestly wouldn't really be that mad like it's got an oversteer bias no understeer like at all it's very like bouncy and like floaty sort of so it's just like wow i don't know it's really it's really fun to drive and uh now of course naturally is is the time to uh to test this thing off road so we're gonna go up the uh up the little stream here and uh, just see how the Karen Everon does. Obviously, this thing is pretty quick. Um, so, you know, it's probably not going to have much of an issue here. It's got great ground clearance, too. Like, that's something that I did notice about this thing as well. Um, it really does have good ground clearance. Like, it's not bad at all. Um, so, taking this thing into the canyon. Whoa, whoa, oh my god. I, I feel like it should not have just flipped right there. I feel like this thing is way too wide for the for the truck to have just flipped. Maybe if it was lowered a little bit, maybe that would have helped. But uh, man, the Karen Everon guys, I, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this thing. I I know some of you guys have been literally telling me to customize this thing for like a year. And I'm really sorry that this thing was not customized a year ago because this is actually sick. This is maybe my favorite like off-road customization I've done. Uh, so far this year. I mean, this thing is absolutely sick. Uh, let's see if I can stop myself from... Okay, no, okay, um, mm, okay, yep. Uh, let's see if we can make it back up here. I kind of doubt it, but like if the Karen Everon... Oh my god, you're kidding me. Karen Everon, too overpowered, no way. Buy yourself a Karen Everon if you don't have one already. This thing is absolutely sick, guys. 
Um, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review today. If you guys enjoyed this, if you want to see more car customizations uh, or whatever it is you want to see, uh, leave a like and comment down below as well. Dislike if you didn't enjoy the video, obviously, if you're a nerd. And uh, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.